good afternoon everyone okay oh my god my tea is very mm. it's ice it's ice cold Hi. tea i'm going to show you what i'm doing for the month of march and today's the first day of march so i'm just going to do a quick little sewing planting of some stuff that i need to do got everything that i need i believe i've got all my labels in here I've got all my seeds in here. I've got my tomato seeds. I've got a separate video on this. And these are my tomato seeds. So I've put them here. Then we're going to be sowing these. Some of these. And we're in the month of March. So we're going to do March. In here, I've got some broad beans that I put in water, yes, last night to soak. Got some more broad beans done down here but i'm not gonna sow all of them i'll plant all of them today i might not plant i might not sow these today i'm not quite sure yet the reason for that is because i wanted to stagger them out so they're not i don't have them i don't harvest them the same day or the same time so if i should plant some this month then i could plant some next month yeah that's what i'm thinking of but we're going to plant these, so we have got some okay. Today, I'm just going to sow some beetroot in here. I found out that I can transplant them, so we're going to sow them in little clusters. So I'm going to sow at least, I think, four to five. So we're just going to drop them windy though one four in here four in there well, four in that one so we're just gonna put four in each okay so I put four and then I'm just gonna cover them over okay that's all done and then straight away I'm just going to water them down straight away and then put them into the greenhouse. Okay, so now I'm going to be sowing these as microgreens and um, some broccoli. And then these, what I'm going to be doing is these, I'm planting these for greens as microgreens. I will at least pick out two of them that probably two plants that I will plant separately to get some broccoli. For these ones i'm not going to sew them too deep i'm just going to sew probably two i'm going to cover them straight away because it's rather windy outside so i really don't want to have them blowing away george do you mind going away please I've got a cat here. Okay, guys, I have planted the beetroot and well, I've planted one set of beetroots. I'm going to be planting another set and I also planted some broccoli. So we're just going to label these so I know that they are what they supposed to be so I haven't got a problem with them I think this goes back 
back in here this one is broccoli so we put broccoli there okay good so now i'm going to be filling up these with some soil and do some more planting i'm just gonna pop a label in here before i do anything so that's going to be the beetroot and these are my beetroots and then as you can see i pop some holes in here and then i have got this bit for the catchment so yeah and as i said i'm just putting four Okay, for then for these ones, I am going to plant my peas. So I've got here, well, these these are kidney beans. I think I've got these ones are peas. So these ones are peas. They are called rose cocoa. I'm going to sow these. And then these ones are kidney beans. And I'm going to sow these too. Normally I would soak these, but I haven't soaked them, so we're just going to sew them as is. That's all going to be happening. Oh, it's just one. They will germinate. Okay, so two. These are some of the things that you can actually sew in egg cartons. So you don't have to sew just really tiny seeds. You can sew these seeds as well. These are relatively um, big. You can sew these as well. Okay, so all I'm just going to do is water these and they should be ready to pop into the greenhouse. Okay, and then these are the other types, and they look something like this. So we're just going to do basically the same thing. Some of them will germinate, some of them won't. And then these are going to be planted alongside the fence. That's the whole idea. We're just going to pop two in each section. And then I'm just going to do exactly what I did before, where I'm just going to water them and then label them. Now that I've watered them, I'm just going to see if I can find their labels. So we see what we can find here. We have lima beans, kidney beans. Oh, that was quick. I've got lima beans, but I haven't planted those. I have some other beans. Fucking blue beans. Pak choy. Rose cocoa. Found it.
here I've got my peas and I'm going to be putting them at the top as well. Okay, I'm just going to show you again what we've got inside that did not germinate last time. Last week I did a video and I show you, but I'm going to show you how they have germinated. So have a look at that. These are my broad beans and they have germinated. So just last week I did a video where I showed that they haven't germinated. So all of them have. So there's one just here. There's another one there. Two and all of them they have germinated. So that's quite nice. So I'm pretty pleased. And the one that I had inside, let me show you what I've done with it. So I have already trellis it. So I'll show you what it looks like. So here they are. So yeah, so I trellis them and they're doing lovely. I'm very happy they can be planted outside so it's the reason why they are outside at the moment and yeah because they were getting too tall for the greenhouse so I had to remove them from there but I will cover them over because it's a little bit chilly outside it's a little bit cold to be honest really cold today is rather cold so I'm going to put a little fleece over them to keep them a little bit warm the, the fleece is white by the way so they will still get sunlight shining through so it's not dark for them so I will be doing that Thank you very much for watching if you do like this video please go ahead and give me a like and if you want to see more videos like these please subscribe to my channel thank you so this is the setup of my mini greenhouse